hey guys welcome to our channel in this video you'll learn on how to connect gelato to woocommerce so the first thing that we should do is we are going to visit the gelato website so as you can see right here i am on gelato.com and when you do that just have to type it out using the search bar at the top okay the next we can sign in or sign up if we don't have an account yet so since i already have my account I'm just going to sign in so right here is my wordpress okay so we can find the woocommerce under the wordpress so here in gelato just navigate to the store section and as you can see i have here my etsy store connected to gelato now here for the direct integrations, we can see here the WooCommerce. So this is an advantage because we don't have to go through a lot of things before we can connect this one to Gelato. So just simply click on the WooCommerce icon and then right here we'll be able to see here a step-by-step -step guide on how we can connect it. So for step number one is we are going to go to the connection checklist. So the WooCommerce version should be this one. So right here, when you go to the WordPress and go to the WooCommerce section, as you can see, we have to set up a store first to start selling online. But I cannot show you that one because we have to pay for about $200. And then the next one is the WooCommerce store has HTTPS connection and doesn't have this kind of feature. So to check this, just have to go to this link right here and then just have to type it over right here, the link of your WooCommerce. And then the WooCommerce REST API is accessible, so this can be verified in the .ht access file. So now let us install the um, WooCommerce here. So just go to the plugins. Okay, and then right here using the search bar is you just have to type out WooCommerce. Okay, so this one right here. So let me just type out WooCommerce. And then after typing out the keywords, you will then just have to click on the search icon or enter. Okay, so this one, so you just have to click on it. And of course, we have to remember that we have to upgrade to a plan in order to activate this one. So currently, I'm just on the free plan, so I cannot um, install this one. So we have to upgrade to active the plugin okay so let's go back to gelato so for step number two is to enable the rest api in your woocommerce settings so here from the admin and again since i cannot open the woocommerce because we haven't subscribed to a plan yet but i have here a clear explanation about it okay so let me just click on the woocommerce Okay, so when you go here, you'll be able to see the settings. So from the admin panel of your store, you just open the WooCommerce settings and then advance. And then under the legacy API, you just have to enable the legacy REST API. So this one right here, let me just zoom it out. So this is the advanced. And then we have here the legacy API. And the next thing that you should do is to check the box. Okay, so this one right here. Let me just zoom it in. So right here, so under the advanced, we have the legacy API and then make sure to toggle this one. Then the next thing that you should do is to click on save changes. Okay, that's right. Just click on the save changes. And then after that, let us proceed to step number three. So make sure that the permalink settings are not set to plain. Okay, so you have to remember this one. So, WooCommerce REST API currently works only when WordPress permalinks are enabled. So, in order to use the API, you need to make sure that the permalink setting is not set to the default value. So, the permalink feature depends on your server configuration. If the URL rewriting is available, is not available, then the permalinks will not work. So, open the settings, go to the permalinks. And then under the common settings, you just have to choose any other link structure other than plain in order for the WooCommerce API to work. Okay, so you should remember this one. 
okay so once you are done just have to click on save changes okay so the next thing that we should do now is we are going to proceed to the next step so you cannot check if the woocommerce api is working so you just have to open this link right here okay so let me just highlight the link so you just have to copy this link and then paste it on a new tab if the response contains gson code it would store information that the api works otherwise the permalinks are not enabled correctly so for the permalink settings the wordpress offers you the ability to create a custom url structure for your permalinks and archives the custom url structures can improve the aesthetics usability and forward compatibility of your links so a number of tags are available and those examples are the one for you to get started next is to install the woocommerce legacy rest api plugged in so the legacy rest api will no longer be part of woocommerce as of version 9.0 so I just have to install the WooCommerce Legacy REST API plugin to restore the full functionality of the Remove Legacy REST API, the WooCommerce 9.0 or later versions. And then for the last step is to install the Gelato plugin. Now for the next step is to install the Gelato plugin. So you just have to go to your WooCommerce site and open up the plugins, add you in the left menu, then search install and activate the gelato plugged in so let me just show you this one let us go back to my wordpress and then go to the plugins and then using the search bar you just have to type out gelato okay that's right and then just click on this one okay and then right here you'd be able to see upgrade and activate so in order to activate this one we have to upgrade our plan and then from there you'd be able to see an option where we can install the gelato to our wordpress okay uh, let me just go back right here and then for the step six is to connect your woocommerce to gelato so you just have to open the gelato tab in the left menu and then click the connect to gelato so you'd be able to see that option and the next one is to allow access to gelato plugged in so for the last step is to add products so with the gelato plugged in you can create products their mock-up images descriptions and pricing so just go back to your wordpress and then just have to connect it so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye